Hello all, good evening and welcome. My name is Karuna Singhvi and I am the Chair of Cultural Arts and Reflections Committee for the Seminole County PTA. It has been my great pleasure and honor to support our PTSAs and PTAs as your county level chair. Working alongside me on the committee are Katie Vale, Reema Agarwal, Michelle Pettinger and a big help from our SCC PTA President Shelly Pedraza. And I thank you all for your commitment and dedication to the committee. I would like to start our program today by extending a warm welcome to our Seminole County Public School Board members for graciously lending us their time so that we can all celebrate our student artists together. Welcome to the Seminole County PTA President Shelley Pedraza, Vice President Rachel Holler, and Michelle Pettinger and all the SEC PTA board members who are here with us today. I invite Shelly Pedraza, the SEC PTA president, to share some of her thoughts with us this evening. Here she is. Welcome, Shelly. Thank you, Karuna. As Karuna mentioned, my name is Shelly Pedraza, and I have the honor of being president of Seminole County Council PTA. Throughout the year, our PTAs in Seminole County do amazing things to support our students and our schools. They create family engagement events, show appreciation for our teachers and staff, and provide creative activities and programs for our students. Our most important job as PTA, as parents, as community, families, and school personnel is to make every child's potential a reality. Many of us join the PTA to support our children. When we first send our children to school, we want to do everything we can to make sure our children have everything they need. As we continue to learn about PTA, we realize PTA supports all children. One of our best PTA programs is the Reflections Arts Program. This program supports the artists in all of our children. It provides our artists a safe space to create their masterpieces and let them shine. I want to thank all of our Reflections Chairs at our local units for all of your work this year. Our local PTA boards and schools for supporting this amazing program and giving our artists a chance to share their thoughts, creativity, and their skill. A huge thank you to Karuna, our SCC PTA Reflections Chair, and her committee. To SCPS for supporting our PTAs and their work. All of our guardians supporting their children. And the biggest appreciation always goes to our students. Our students have put the work in and have done an amazing job. One of the biggest perks of being president is I get to sneak peeks at all of the artwork as it comes in. And you all did a phenomenal job. Thank you to everyone who took the time to create art this year. You did great and you are all extremely talented. I would like to introduce Sarita Beeman, our SCPS superintendent, with a quick message for our Seminole County artists. Thank you. Congratulations to the Seminole County Reflection Arts Program participants and winners. We are so proud that the arts continue to excite and inspire our students here in Seminole County. I believe that each and every one of you will change the world. You make us proud. Thank you so much, Shelley and Sarita Beeman. It was great to hear some encouraging words from you. Thank you. All of us at the committee are as always appreciative and thankful for your continual support and encouragement. Our theme this year was very challenging, but our kids have proved that they were up to the task and have created some truly great works. For that, I want to wholeheartedly commend all the parents and loved ones for their unwavering support to the students as they explore their artistic and creative sides. It is in large part thanks to the support at home that kids can soar in any field. Couple that with these challenging times and it becomes even more crucial that you continue your support and dedication towards the students and their arts. So again, thank you all from us. Also present with us today are members from Seminole County PTSAs and PTAs. Despite the restriction that come with working in a virtual environment, Every member has worked tirelessly toward the organization and collection of all the artworks. 
If you would like to extend your appreciation to them, please consider donations and volunteering your time for the associations. PTAs do wonderful work and are your kids' best advocates in the school. We are always open to any extra helping hands. I can also assure you that every single teacher, administrative and support staff member is proud of your achievements today and always. And now a word about our most important attendees of the day, our student artists. Thank you to each one of you that participated in the reflection program during a school year that has been fraught with unique challenges and restrictions. All of you inspire us every day and show us by example how to be resilient in the face of uncertainty. Your art submissions reflect everything that you have learned over the past two years and we could not be prouder of each one of you as we reviewed your projects. Creativity takes courage and it is an excellent way to channel our feelings and emotions. You have spoken through your art and it is evident how much thought has gone into creation of every project and how deeply you all care about changing the world for the better. Before moving on to the award announcements, I want to thank our sponsors who always have our backs and whose steadfast support makes our county level programs possible. A big thanks to Gold Sponsors, SOS Fundraisers at SOSFundraiser.com. Much appreciation and thanks to Mr. Miles of South Seminole Academy for helping generously with editing of this presentation. And of course, a big thank you to my team, our presidents Shelley, Rima, Katie, and Michelle for their valuable assistance to make this program possible. Let me also give some background for those who might not know the history of this program. Founded in 1969, for 50 plus years, the National PTA Reflections Program has invited thousands of students from all over the country without discrimination on any basis to engage in a program that allows them an outlet for their art, their original thoughts and ideas, and helps them develop as sensitive, confident, and sensible citizens as they navigate through school and life. Every year, over 300,000 students create original works of art in six different fields on a theme or a topic suggested by a student. The 2021-2022 Reflections theme is I Will Change the World by, was submitted by Lydia Keel from Spanish Fork Junior High School PTSA in Utah. Students may submit their entries in all or one field of their choosing, which are as follows, dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual arts. There is also a category called special artists for students who identify as having a disability, who may enter in the special artist division or a grade division most closely aligned to their functional abilities. The Reflections program does not discriminate on the basis of physical disability, and we want to make sure that whoever wants to take part in the program is able to do so. I will now announce the names of this year's winners. Let me give some preliminary information as to the order in which the names will be announced. First, I will announce the students that have received honorable mentions. These are works that have not moved to the state level, but have been awarded at the Seminole County level. Next will be the winners of the county level placements. That is those that have moved to Florida State for the next round of reflections program and whose work have been recognized for originality of expression as they present various ideas and suggestions in keeping with the theme of I will change the world by. We are eagerly waiting to see if any of our students is placed on the state level and moves on to the national round. It will be a short wait, but we have every confidence in our students. Good luck to all the participants. Let us now start with the announcements. The Seminole County PTA is extremely proud to present the awards for 2021-2022 Reflections Program. We open with honorable mention in film production category, which goes to James Hicks of Hegarty High School for his work titled Chunky the Can's Donation Adventure. Congratulations, James. The award of merit to 
in film production goes to Jace Whale of Hegarty High School for his film called Start Small to Change Big. Congratulations, Jace. The Award of Merit 1 goes to Colin Swinehart, also of Hegarty High School, for his work titled Together. Congratulations, Colin. And the Award for Excellence winner in this category goes to Joey Chu of Winter Springs High School for her work to my 13 year old self. Congratulations, Joey. Great job, everyone. Now let's move on to the next category, which is literature. The honorable mentions go to Lucy Guo of Seminole High School for her writing called My Powerful Voice and to Pooja Kannan of Hegarty High School for her work called We Shall Change. Congratulations, Lucy and Pooja. Great job. The award of merit two in literature is awarded to Joey Chu of Winter Springs High School for her writing called I Love the Arrow, Not the Cupid. Congratulations, Joey. Great job. The award of merit one in literature goes to Julia Bocare, also of Haggerty High School for her work titled The Power of a Woman. Congratulations, Julia. And the award of excellence for literature was backed by Bella Knowles of Haggerty High School for her work titled Embers. Congratulations, Bella. Great job. Now moving on to music. The Award of Merit goes to Emerson Keen of Hegarty High School for their composition called Progress. Congratulations, Emerson. And the Award of Excellence in Music belongs to Hannah Whitman, also of Hegarty High School for her work titled Rose. Congratulations, Hannah. We also have a Special Artist Award winner here, Jack Kimball of Hegarty High School who wins and moves up to the state levels for his composition, I Want to Make the World a Better Place. Congratulations, Jack. Next, we have photography. The honorable mention goes to Thomas Rosner of Winter Springs High School for his picture titled Daybreak. Congratulations, Thomas. You did a great job. In Photography Award winners, Aidan Whale of Hegarty High receives Award of Merit too with Cat 5. Congratulations, Aiden. Quinton Puckett, also of Hegarty High School, receives Award of Merit 1 with Hug the Earth. Congratulations, Quinton. And the Award of Excellence in Photography goes to Lilia Wilkin Yoder of, again, Hegarty High School for her work called Joy. Congratulations, Lilia. Keep it up. Let's move on to visual arts now. In the honorable mentions, we have Joey Chu of Winter Springs High School for her work called ID Number Dishwasher and Jenna Minieri of Hegarty High School for her work titled Generation A. Congratulations, Joey and Jenna. You did a fantastic job. For the award of merit two, the position goes to Clo Park of Seminole High School with her work titled Make It Reality. Congratulations, Clo. An award for merit one goes to Anika Yun of Hegarty High School for her work titled Our Demise. Congratulations, Anika. And for award of excellence in visual arts, we have Ruby Feng of Seminole High School with her work called Ignite. Congratulations, Ruby. You all have done a great job. Keep it up. We have a special artist winner who received honorary mention for their work titled Hegarty Me in visual arts category. Amber O'Berry of Hegarty High School. Congratulations, Amber. Keep it up. This brings us to the end of tonight's award announcements. Congratulations to all the students. You have all shared your wonderful ideas with us and it is a brilliant work all around. Lastly, huge thank you to all of you who have taken the time out to attend this presentation. Congratulations to all the winners. 
All the student creations may be viewed on SCC PTA website at www.sccpta.com backslash reflections dash arts dash program dot html. We hope that you, your friends and family members will enjoy the student works as they motivate, educate and inspire everyone to create a better world. Our website will be updated with the names and works of the artists who move on to the state level. So do keep an eye on it. SEC PTA is also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Do not forget to follow us there as well. I thank you all once again for joining us tonight. Have a good evening.